Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite all-time bands, Windier. Normally I'll just run through a band's discography from my least favorite to my favorite, but since they only have four albums, I wanted to go a little bit further. So in addition to going through the albums, I'm also going to be going through my top 10 Windier songs. Double video, two in one, so here you go. I'm going to start off with the songs because if I did the albums first, you'd kind of know what's coming. So anyways, coming in at number 10 for my favorite Windier songs is Rovignon. Probably pronouncing that wrong. That's off the debut. And it's just so catchy. The chorus is just amazing. Just absolutely killer stuff here. Love this song. It's so catchy. If you've never heard Windier, you got to go check them out. They just bring in so many different folk elements, so much melody. It's really a shame that Valfar passed away too early because I would have loved to see what else he would have done after the four albums. It's just such a shame. But anyways, let's get on to number nine. My ninth favorite Windier song is Dance of Mortal Lust. This is off the 1184 album. And oh, this is a fucking killer tune. Right from the opening drum beat and the guitar kicks in, you just know you're in for a fucking fun song. Just like galloping beat, and just super catchy. One of the few songs that's in English so you can actually sing along, which is always good. They only have a handful of those, but this is one of the really fucking good ones. Coming in at number eight is Dodden. This one is off of their last album, Lickford. Just another killer song. I mean, all of these are fucking killer songs. What can you say about any of these? Like, Valfar is just amazing the way he composed all these songs. The chorus in here is just catchy, catchy ass melodies once again. Pretty much gonna say that about every song on here. But anyways, let's just keep this list moving along. Number seven is Lickbor. That's also off the debut. And oh man, just catchy as all hell. Absolutely amazing. Fucking love this song. Coming in at number six, another one off 1184. This is Spirit Lord. Another one in English, so I can sing it. But yeah, just awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Fuck, what can I say about this song? Starts off with the screaming, and then I love the clean vocals on here too. I know Valfar doesn't do the clean vocals on here. He got someone else to do them. But it just melds so well with, uh, with his vocals. And it's like, arrival of the Spirit Lord. Just fucking epic stuff. Just so fucking good. Anyways, let's get into the top five. Gonna go to the Arntor album with Arntor Ein Windier. Absolutely epic fucking song. There's an intro on the album and then this is the first like real song, I guess you could say. And what a way to kick it off. Like just a fucking amazing tune. Long epic. <sighs> ah, what can I say? I could gush about this band. I should go through every fucking song, not just 10. But yeah, amazing song. Please go listen to it right now. Coming in at number four, another one from Lickford is Despot. Or Dispot. I don't know how to fucking say these. I think this one's actually in English anyways, but I still can't pronounce it right. But yeah, just a really fucking another killer song. Just nice fucking punchy beat on here. It's really upbeat and just fucking amazing. Amazing, amazing stuff. Into my top three. These are tough because these are all interchangeable to me a different on a different day. But I go with the closing song off 1184, Journey to the End. Whoa, Epic defines this song. Just that opening riff. And then just goes into the screams and then he does the chorus. He screams at first, then it does clean singing of the exact same thing. Oh, fuck. Just so, so goddamn good. Ah, so good. And then it seems like the song ends, and then it kind of goes into almost like a techno trance outro, which is not necessarily my thing, but it really suits this, and it's just so fucking epic. But one of the best closing songs to an album of all time, for sure. Coming in at number two off of Arntor is Fartas Midden and Ludismir Trolle. Whew. Probably didn't pronounce that right. I'm pretty sure it means something like the blacksmith and the troll of Lundesmeer. Something roughly like that. But wow, the guitar riff in this. It repeats a lot, but it is so much melody and it's just such an epic song. Oh, and the chorus too. Svartesmin and Lundesmeer, trolle. 
over and over again with that riff. Oh, this could have easily been my number one. It's such a good fucking tune. Please go listen to it if you haven't. So that just leaves my number one favorite song by Windeer, and that is Destroy. Another one that's in English, and it is just fucking heavy as all shit, but still got some great melody. Oh, his vocals just sound so fucking evil on this. I rape, destroy, your legacy. It's one of my favorite parts in the whole fucking song. Just amazing, amazing shit. Please go listen to it. That's my ranking of my 10 favorite Windier songs. But now, like I said, like I promise, I'm also going to rank the four albums from my least favorite to my favorite. Coming in at number four is the debut, Soknarader. Don't know how to pronounce it. I don't have a fucking clue. It's from like 1997. Great debut. And the only reason I put it last is because there's only four albums and something has to go last. This is still a 9 out of 10 album. The fucking melodies and harmonies on here are absolutely amazing. It's just not quite on par with the other albums, but pretty fucking close. Coming in at number three is their last album, Lickford, from 2003. This one is definitely their most progressive album. They tried some different sounds out here, and it fucking really works. Like, I really wish I could have heard what they would have done next, because it's just amazing. Ah, oh, Valfar is just a fucking god. The songs on here are just awesome. The songwriting got a lot more technical, and it's just really, really fucking killer stuff. It's still got that black metal edge. It's still got the folk elements, but it's just killer shit. Okay, down to number two is Arntor. This one's a 10 out of 10 for me. This could have easily been number one. But yeah, I fucking love this album. Front to back, just amazing. Everything on here. Yeah, sure, there's nothing in English, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The songs are that fucking good that I don't need to know what the hell he's saying. And that just leaves number one, which I got a poster for right here. It's 1184. Absolute one of the best black metal albums of all time. Need to go listen to it if you haven't heard it. I don't know what else to say about this album. In my top 10 songs, there was four out of the 10 were from this album, so that should speak for itself how good this fucking album is. I almost put even more on there, but I wanted to include at least a couple from every album. Uh, yeah, this whole fucking album. Like, even songs I didn't mention, like Hydra, the riff in there is so fast. Total's Walls, Sir, 1184, the title track. Like, this whole fucking album just destroys, like, the song Destroy. Anyways... That's my list. I just had to do a list for Windier. I know they only have four albums, but I couldn't help it. They're one of my all-time favorite bands. Anyways, let me know down below what's your favorite Windier song. What did you think of this list? Click on like. Click on subscribe. Until another day, Hammerheart Metal Reviews out.